I hate myself for loving you. God, that's a catchy ass song. I think we're finally at that episode, by the way. Um, shit. Not even the right color scarf, but I'm making do with whatever I have. So, guys, I had to clean this shit up because it was it hadn't been used for years. But uh, well, I, 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 just a couple years actually. But uh, my father's fedora, which he never fucking wore, he just wore for like one time. I, not only do I hate wearing my father's things because it, 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 I like to establish my own look. But I fucking hate fedoras in general. But it's for big mouth, so. I fucking hate you! Season 5, episode 7. Great. Ugh. Compared to the last shit I watched, which was the Cleveland show, this is gonna be... This is already a billion years ahead of it. I love this show so much. She has always found a way to hurt me, Nick. You wrote her a heartfelt... Yeah, but the song was pathetic. ...melody and she rejected you quick. Maybe you were just a jerk, and Judd was always her pin. She humiliated you worse than when everyone saw your tiny little dick. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. <laughs> the one pube. You should be like me. Have nothing and no one. But a sad YouTube channel that less than a like only a couple people actually tune into. Not knocking the fans though. You guys are great. And by fan, I mean anyone that, that actually even accidentally or otherwise that clicked on my video. You're you're automatically now my favorite people. That's actually very clever that it's a sort of invert, like, that they're kind of two sides of the same coin. Gorgeous butterfly, and she turned me into this horrid worm. Yeah, because she's a goddamn nightmare. You hate her, don't you, Nick? I wish she'd get really bad diarrhea and, and vanish. Zip, zip. That, she treats you like crap. We want her to take a permanent dirt nap. Oh, man. <laughs> Sorry, I... Word. Yeah. I'm chewing too goddamn loud. Because she's a goddamn nightmare. You hate her, don't you, Nick? I wish she'd get really bad diarrhea and, and vanish. Zip, zap, she treats you like crap. We want her to take a permanent dirt nap. Oh, man. This is gonna be a terrible episode. I hope I don't spill my popcorn. <laughs> I sing at the song because I'm bad at singing. Much I hate to admit it. Cheater, cheater, fussy eater. Sick. Wait, what? <laughs> oh, ooh, oh. Cheater, cheater, fussy eater. Sick. I'm gonna put this bowl of Fruit Loops away because this is really annoying. Cheater, cheater, fussy eater, fuzzy eater. I mean, it's it's disconcerting either way, and I don't like it. But I I I'm just trying to figure out what you're the hell you're saying. Hey, that's the Pete. There's the allergy kid behind um lump. Who the fuck names your kid lump? Snacks for the rest of us. Dad, you missy, your room or work. The whole school's for medieval on Allie and Jesse. If V is for vendetta, then M is for mother flippers shouldn't have stolen. I'm sorry, but Iowa Debris is like truly perfect. 
Actually, wait, I, 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 I just thought of something. I'm going to go back to the intro. <laughs> Uh, okay, so she st I had a weird ass theory for a minute. I'm sorry. shouldn't have stolen. Because uh, Io and Ibri sounds so similar, like to Jenny Slate. It, it, like I was wondering, that would be really clever if if Jenny Slate came back to voice her for that, showing that she's regressing. No, that, that wouldn't make sense. My affinity group. Die from shame, you heathen scum. Go fuck yourself, Lars. I mean, you wouldn't feel it, but, oh, that was slow. <laughs> Firefly, what's so funny on your cellular device? Oh, uh, nothing much, just... Sorry, man. I'm gonna just put the, the fucking cereal down. Shame, you heathens. I'm sorry, but they did more than you ever did. Like, I'm sorry, but they've accomplished more than you ever did. Kudos for you for creating the group. It's a great idea. Hell, this fucking county could use it. But, look, at the end of the day, <clears throat> you're not meant to be a leader. You are, like, I'm sorry, but in the end, like, I, I don't think you're leader material. Firefly, what's so funny on your cellular device? Oh, uh, nothing much. Just looking at Instagram. A lot of them, girl. Oh, so it's a new internet challenge where people draw eyes on their balls, then smush their dicks down between their balls to... But their genitals look like Squidward. Share. I don't need that. Don't do that. That's just up. First Happy ruins Patrick Star, and now this. Some of those giggles, Don Rickles. Um, it's just a meme where SpongeBob is wiping the counter with a tiny version of himself. Well, that's clever because he's a sponge. Not the wrong girl. <laughs> Let's refresh the counters every 30 seconds. Give me some. Ooh, Blue Cross Blue Shield just followed me. Get it, sword influencer. Look, I know you guys thought. What the fuck is. <sighs> I mean, I am very unappealing, so just in general, like the pauses, like the no edits, I'm a nightmare as a human being. A Charles Liu is awesome. He gets that magic is the perfect storm of art, science, and sex. See, the pro- It's... Whatever, if, if, if magic is your thing, fine. I have some weird shit I'm into too. Not sexual, though. I'm hungry, fuck off. But, I will say, if my interests, like, if I combine sex with my interests, that would be fucking horrifying. <laughs> like, it would be so awful. Let's do it on the Axis and Allies game. The problem was, I wanted him to swallow me whole like a pelican, but in the... Sure. And he wanted to wet shit me out all over the pier like a common seagull. That's tragic, Jay. You like my life. No, it helped me realize that I have a boner for intimacy. And the only one who can jack my heart off is Lola Scumpy. But how will you win her back? Money? Jewels? A romantic indie rock song? Guys, I think it might be time to perform the ultimate magic trick. Sawing your finger in half and having your cock double in size, but now your cock has a finger now. Todd, that's an amazing... <sighs> that makes me very unnerved. Amazing trick, but no. I'm gonna admit that I was wrong. I wish you the most sensual of fortunes, Jay. Thank you, Paul. Uh huh. There, it's gone. Don't say that to a child, you creep. And I hope that pawn shop gives you good money for your missing daughter's ukulele. Ah, oh, another goddamn day. Oh, what the? Missing daughter? 
you're a horrible monster. You're just a monster. Oh, well, that's not great either. Jesus, Nick, you don't look so good. Did you drink too much water before bed and then you stayed up all night pissing with a big water belly? Jesse's such a bitch. Whoa, Nick, what? She knew Allie had a girlfriend and then she fucking teased me, fucking bitch. Oh, Nick, Nick. No, she didn't, you... Restraint? That's just a rumor. It's just a sexy girl on. Girl, chill, how's the rumor? No, it's not sexy. Jesse is trash. And if you don't see that, then fuck off. Put a little lasso. Let's curb stop his fat mouth. Stop with the curbing. Oh. No, I'm taking the high road now, okay? Oh, God, you're still doing that Tinder Andrew thing? I am. And the view up here is pretty nice. You can look down girls' shirts and see their sternum. Um, ah, yes, the sternum, the jail of the heart, but the foundation for them titties. Good morning. Our top story today, Ms. Benitez got dropped off at school by her new boyfriend, and he's... Oh, she's still... Oh, what happened to Adam Scott? I forget his name. Got a ponytail. But first, I had a quick conversation with the victims of a vicious rumor. Jesse, Alex. How are you gals holding up? Well, thank you for asking. I have to say, this whole situation sucks and is unfair. And I didn't cheat on Samira. Jesse is just a friend. There is no water in my mug. Water is <laughs> for gas, Caleb. Now, Jesse, if Dr. Plain Talk were what? Caleb's been working with you for a fucking long time. He deserves some good treatment, God damn it. Also, I do like how they're, 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 they are just keep treating Caleb like part of the gang. Like, I shouldn't point this, I, I, it's ridiculous to point this out, but as someone with autism, that is a massive concern. You want to be part of the gay, but you don't know how. Um, that is, that was one of the biggest problems growing up. Um, but then there's also the fear of that people are condescending to you, talking down. Just, like, like, I, I, I don't want people to think I'm special needs right now from the medical facility where they practice gossip, what would you say to them? I would say, I don't know why you're trying to besmirch our reputations, but all you're really doing is making our friendship stronger. And if I find you, you little fucker, I'm gonna twist your nipples off, wear them as earrings, and everyone's gonna be like, ooh la la. Allie, who are you wearing? Oh, these? Just some little fucker. Little fucker? Oh, hell no. You a big fucker. That's right. I fuck a bitch. Jesse is so full of shit. Oh, I don't like you. Oh. This is gonna go badly, but whatever. Look at my red hair. Yeah. Yeah, Jesse is full of shit, actually. Did you hear the way she said be smart? It's like we get it. Your parents are divorced. You're filling a void with vocabulary words. Congrats. Yeah, that's totally what's happening here, and it's sad. <laughs> this girl is on fire. Hey, nice to meet you. I'm Rochelle. Rochelle, it's me, Walter Las Palmas. Oh, shit. Walter, you look amazing now. How did you turn into such a bad bitch? Do you like? I've been on this hate diet all week. I just eat cookies and talk shit. Before you were so annoying being all nice. I agree. Now you look like wet garbage because you got some hate in your life. I'm cry. I'm a, thank you so you much. You know what I tell you? Let the love go and let the hate overflow. Wow. It's really sweet to see Nick and Missy reconnecting. This is a nice episode. You have a dead onion in your skull, you know that? And you, you at home, you're laughing at this block of wood? You're all complicit. That's right. Rude. It, I'm a bad fucking mitten. And this is the hate episode. Now eat this fucking light bulb, you ass fuck. Okay. Oh, no. oh it's giving me an idea. <laughs> I think I'm gonna poop blood later. Oh. That is solid logic. I can't argue with that. 